Hi, my name's Aaron. This is an overview video for a series that we hope to create that helps explain and dive into barcode scanning tough books and tough pads. Now, barcode scanning is an effective way to input data quickly from a barcode into a computer. Now, there's a lot of different ways this can be utilized, everything from public safety, scanning driver's licenses, to warehouse upkeep, scanning barcodes, and inputting uh, your stock. I want to go through a few different a few differences of the barcodes and just kind of give you an overview and then in a series of videos we're going to dive deeper into it get a little more frequently asked questions the technical aspects etc but first of all the overview so there's a few terms that you'll hear 1d and 2d now it used to be 1d and 1d is your common line barcode set up in this format and it usually just gives you a simple number string of numbers utilized by a lot of retail stores with products such as oatmeal and it gives this one will give you a UPC code that you can scan and it will instantly put it into your computer the 2d barcode scanning it was developed because 1d has the limitation of only giving you a certain amount of data to make more data come out of that 1D barcode, the only solution is to make that barcode bigger or longer. And so it's taking up a lot of product room and that is usually used for labeling, such as this off-brand oatmeal. And so the solution to that is the 2D barcode. Now that format you would see, um, this is a QR code, this is considered a 2D barcode. It's pretty much a data matrix of dots that can store a lot more data, get it into your computer and take up a lot less real estate on your product. So uh, that's what the 1D and 2D difference is. Now, however, there is a thing called symbologies, and it does sound like a made up word, but symbologies is the term for how that barcode is formatted. Now, there are hundreds and hundreds of symbologies, and it's important because each tough book or tough pad or whatever product you're using that has a barcode is limited in the symbologies that it can scan and that it's formatted for. So it's important that when you buy a tough book or tough pad with a barcode scanner, you realize what barcode symbology you're wanting to scan and you buy one that's compatible with scanning it. So as I said, we're going to get into a series of videos that jumps into a more modern product, but we figured we'd start with the CFH2 Toughbook. This is an outdated model, but it was where the barcode scanning was really, really came into being with the Toughbook line. So I just want to kind of show you some brief demonstrations of the CFH2 scanning. Now CFH2, the one we're demoing here, has an EA21 scanner. Now this can scan both 1D and some 2D, some 2D barcodes. Uh, that's important, as I said, because it's compatible with a few more symbologies than just a 1D or just a 2D. But, like I said, it's outdated, so it might not be able to scan your QR code or something like that. So, it's really easy. Click of a button, the barcode scanner is located on the bottom. Click of a button will bring up a scanning matrix right there on the backdrop. And, like I said, it can scan 1D or 2D, so I'm going to scan this. And I'm going to put it actually on the notepad, so I'm going to scan it again. And like I said, this is the 1D, and you can see that it pulled up the UPC code for my off-brand oatmeal. It's good stuff, though. It's cheap. Uh, what it also can do is it can scan a driver's license. This is mine, so obviously it's censored. But it can scan a driver's license and pull up data. Oh, if I had it on the notepad. I'll try that again there. Okay. So that pulled up all the data that is found on my driver's license, my birthday, my name, my address, my weight. So we're not going to show you the screen because hopefully we're going to post this video online. But it did. It pulled it up off the driver's license. And like I said, that's important because it just, uh, instead of punching it in manually into a computer, you can just scan it in and you have all the data right there and you can run the driver's license. Now this is, like I said, just a brief overview of barcode scanning and we will be jumping into a series of video that goes into more of the technical aspect while also demonstrating a few more newer tough books and tough pads. When you are going to purchase one, it is very important that you know what scanner is in that tough book and if it's compatible with the barcode you're wanting to scan. We'll try to stay on top of, as we're demonstrating the tough books and tough pads, what symbologies those are compatible with. We'll give you a list of the ones that the CFH2 is compatible with, and as we proceed, we'll dive deeper into it. So, look forward to talking to you a little more about barcodes and diving deeper into barcode scanning with tough books and tough pads. Thank you.